And in this video, we're going to work backward and use the percentile to determine what number would be the cutoff point. And so to do that, we're going to use the function that's called inverse norm on the calculator. So we're going to do second and distribute, and we're going to do the thing number three, which says inverse norm. This is very similar to what we did with normal CDF, except we're going to be basically working backwards. So with inverse norm, we're going to tell it what area. So like, I'm going to use, for example, 75%. So I want to know 75% of the president's wives died by what age? So I can do area equals 0.75. And then because I, the last thing that I did with the calculator was to do the one variable stats for the president's wives, I can set mu equal to x bar, which if you remember that is to hit vars, choose number 5 for statistics variables, and then we're going to choose number 2 for x bar. And again, the last thing that I did on the calculator with the one variable statistics was to find the mean and the standard deviation, etc. for the president's wives. If I had done this for the presidents, then my x bar would be something different. So then I'm going to choose number 5 for the standard deviation. So I'm going to do number 3. And so I have my mean and my standard deviation set for the president's wives. I'm going to click paste. And when I hit enter, this is going to tell me what age. So 81.39 years. So according to this calculation, 75% of the president's wives died by the age of 81.39 years. And remember that we were using the president's wives as a sample of all women in the United States. So according to this, approximately 75% of women in the United States die by the age of 81. So we can use the normal CDF if we know the age and we want to find the percentage. We use inverse norm if we know the percentage and want to find the age.